No matter how much the world changes, New York City will always be New York, especially Harlem. I'm Dwayne Chan Shu. Welcome here to MBHD Brule, located 2620 Frederick Douglass Boulevard, Harlem. Right here at this corner, 140th Street, basically is my neighborhood itself. And I just thought, keen enough where I walk out my neighborhood and there was only commercial restaurants. McDonald's. In my neighborhood, I felt there was something missing, something that resembled what I grew up with within Harlem, with, you know, the staple restaurants the places like, you know, which I used to love as a kid, like Willie Burgers and uh, Pam Pam was a diner that had exquisite food, you know, uh, casual fare that was just couldn't find anywhere else. You know, Harlem's famous for like chicken and waffles. So Harlem's always were known to have, um, creativity within everything, music, art, food, you know, nightlife, you know, maybe the end of 2018, I had ideas of finding a space, looking at the space from, it was a grocery store and needed, you know, it was given, it was offered at as is, where I had to do all the construction work to convert the store into uh, what it is today. It, it could be underestimated when we just say cafe. I, I like to call it like a hybrid coffee shop restaurant because even, you know, the front of the house is coffee and all that goes with it. We make our own fresh lemonade and then a mixture of different flavors. So basically a lot of the food tends to follow like a Cajun fare. Um, so we have, even in the cafe, we have like shrimp po' boys, shrimp and grits, avocado, there's black bean. Like I have, um, we don't sell pork products, but I have beef bacon, turkey bacon. So we have beef bacon BLTs um, that are fabulous. And then we do a lot of chicken dishes like jerk chicken, burgers. So there's no meat burgers, but there's black bean burgers. So we do a little spin on certain things. I call it like a little bit of good and evil. You know, our menu speaks volumes for what the sandwich is, you know, stands for. Uh, my, my roots are, are West Indian. My parents are Jamaican. Black people, African-American, like we love spices. We, we That's why like we went everywhere. And a lot of those spices originate in Africa. You know, like all that Cajun spices, like where does it come from? We all bought that with us. And, and, and just created different dishes according to the area we ended up in. So there was, there was we were missing this gathering space. But with the coffee shop um, and just being uh, an ample open space, it could be inviting for people who was inquisitive of coffee. In Trieste, Italy, founded by Ernesto, who was more of a horticultural scientist to make, have initiative to help local farmers, which is none in Italy, of course, all on the line of Capricorn, those countries, Guatemala, Ecuador, Brazil, the coffee that we serve, the coffee that they serve throughout the world, um, mainly is a blend. They counterbalance constantly to get the perfect blend all the time. So wherever if you're in Germany, Italy, here, right here in Harlem, New York, the coffee is going to be the same. Made to order, though, you know, so um, of that concept. Like you walk into, I hate to say, other place establishments and you could grab a sandwich that's wrapped up in a piece of plastic and they're gonna heat it up and give it to you and you're gonna take it and eat it because that's that's what they offer and you're in their place of business. But here it's most of the stuff is made to order. It's it's what we love. Like we like, I don't wanna undersell our people. Our people expect quality for our hard earned money. We try to give them, you know, a, a good balance, you know, of what what we can sell for fairly. That's what's current in the market. Food prices is pretty high, but at the same time, we don't want, I don't want to under, underserve and, and sell short of on quality product, you know? So food is outstanding, but just spun my way, the Harlem way. <laughs> That's what it is.